Hey, this is Dawn Hutchins with Veggie Cooking, and I'm in the kitchen again. I'm gonna show you how I cook beans from scratch. So today I'm gonna do black beans, and this is from the dried hard bean that you can get out of the bulk bin at the natural food store or wherever. And I'm gonna show you how to do it all the way through. And I know this is kind of daunting for some people, but it's really so much easier than you think. This is the method that my grandmother taught me, and she practiced a macrobiotic diet. And I have so many fond memories of her in the kitchen. And so she always had grains and beans soaking on the counter and loved to cook everything from scratch because it's the old school way. And so that's how I've done it. And the way I do it, it helps with your digestion. So it doesn't give you the gassiness that you'll get from certain beans. You don't have to worry about the contaminants and the cans if you're gonna eat canned beans. And this is a way that reduces lectins. So lectins are a protective coating on a lot of plant foods and it can kind of cause some digestive issues for some people, but this is a way that you can naturally reduce the lectins. So let's, let's just get, get started. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And remember, if you like this video and you wanna see more of them, just like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And tell your friends about it too, if they're interested in cooking stuff from scratch. And if you want me to cover anything in future videos, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna see you back over there in the kitchen and I hope you enjoy this. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is take your dried beans, that's about four cups of beans, and you're gonna just cover them with water and swish them around a little bit. And so you just wanna get a couple inches above the beans because they are gonna absorb water. So it really doesn't matter exactly how much, but you just wanna cover them. Once they've soaked overnight, you're gonna drain them. I drain them. I've heard of keeping the liquid, but I do not because of the lectins in the liquid are draining off. So although it could lose a little bit of flavor, I drain them. So now I'm gonna put my pressure cooker together, my old school pressure cooker, add my beans. And the next thing I'm gonna do is add flavor. So we're gonna chop up an onion and I like to use a sweet onion, but you can really use any onion you want. If you wanna use a Vidalia, a yellow onion or a red onion, it really doesn't matter. So just, I chop it up into just kind of bite-sized pieces. It doesn't really matter because they're gonna cook down. And I mean, if you wanted to do huge chunks and take them out, you could do that too and just add it for flavor. So it's totally up to you. Um, and now the next thing I'm gonna add is some fresh garlic. Garlic adds a ton of flavor. And I'm just gonna separate a few cloves off this bulb and then I'm gonna smash them and peel them. and. Really, if you like a lot of garlic, throw a ton in there. It's so good for you. It has so many cancer-fighting properties. So I think I threw five cloves in there and I just rough chopped them. But again, if you wanna do it just for flavor, just throw the whole clove in there and then you can fish them out later if you want. But I like to have a lot of garlic in there and the flavor will mellow. So I just add all of that in there for flavor. This is not 100% necessary. You can just, at a minimum, cook the beans. You don't have to add the onion. I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of adobo seasoning and I'm gonna have the recipe for you in the notes. So I'm adding a tablespoon of seasoning and then probably about a teaspoon of garlic. Then I'm gonna add some olive oil. If you're doing straight up plant-based, don't add oil but I add a little bit of oil, again, for just a little bit of fat and flavor. I feel like it goes a long way. Probably a half a tablespoon is all you really need. I'm gonna add some veggie broth that I made previously. And I do about five cups of that. You can just do water if you want, but this is another layer of flavor. So I throw in some veggie broth and then I cover the beans by about two inches. So it doesn't have to be exact. If there's too much water left over, you can always drain it off. Now we're gonna add kombu, which is a seaweed that is gonna decrease the gassiness and help with digestion. So I'm adding about a thumb size of kombu in there. 
Now what I'm gonna do is put the lid on, and this is the scary part for everybody, is the idea that pressure is gonna build up and oh my God, it could blow up, but this thing's super old, it's never blown up, I don't even know that it's possible. I'm gonna put it right on the stove over high heat and let it get to a jiggle like this. Then set your timer for about 35 minutes. After the 35 minutes is up, you're gonna remove it from the heat and let it cool down. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. And if it's still doing this, it needs a little while longer. So then maybe give it about 15 total. Then you can remove the lid and you've got these beautiful beans that you can, we have to stop ourselves from eating it right out of here. It's so delicious. But you can let these cool and then put them in the freezer in Pyrex containers. Uh, we like to make tacos the first night. Uh, you can save all of that really yummy juice and make a soup out of it, or you can drain it if you really want to, but that would be really sad. You also can stir in a tablespoon of vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar or white vinegar just to give it another layer of flavor. And this will aid in digestion. So there you go. The first night we made tacos with it, we added some avocado and vegan cheese and a little rice. So enjoy. Enjoy.